Hi, I'm Sean Ginnon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring by grouping. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 75a squared c minus 45a squared d minus 30bc plus 18bd, <laughs> and we need to factor this completely. Well, I'm going to see if I can break this down a little bit, and I know a 3 goes into all parts here. So by pulling out of 3, I'm left with a 25a squared c minus a 15a squared d minus a 10bc plus a 6bd. Now I'm going to group the first two parts and the second two parts. So I put a parenthesis here, and when I put a parenthesis on the second two parts, that minus sign I know will have to be now be distributed to both parts, but I want to make sure that there's a positive 6BD after that. So by putting this a negative 6BD, when I distribute the minus sign to this part, it will then be a positive. So don't forget that. Now from here, let's go pull out what's a common term in 25A squared C minus and then 15A squared D. And that's a 5A squared as in both parts. By pulling that out, I'm left with a 5c here minus a 3d. Do the same thing with the second two parts here. A 2b goes into both parts, so if I pull out a 2b, I'm left with a 5c minus just, well, a uh, 3d. Right there. Now 5c minus 3d is repeated. We can see that. Don't forget the other big parenthesis. So, a 3 minus, I'm going to pull out the 5c minus 3d here, pull out a 5c minus 3d, and what I'm left with is the 5a squared minus 2b. I gave myself a lot of room, but it's all right. And so our final answer here is 3 times, in big parentheses, 5a squared minus 2b times 5c minus 3d. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.